What's going on, guys? Old Bass Balls 334 coming at you again with the week five post game interviews. I'm here with Barry Davis from the Palmetto Punishers. Uh, Barry, big win this past week against the Swamp Donkeys to get your Punishers to two and three. Um, had to get back on the right track for you guys for the rest of the season. We got four weeks left. You guys are uh, right in the middle of the road in your in your division within the conference. Uh, tell me what that win against the Swamp Donkeys meant for the Punishers, for yourself, and for the rest of your teammates. Well, that win meant a lot to us. Uh, you're supposed to win your home matches anyway, and we dropped one on Murray a few weeks back. And uh, things that we had planned that was working perfect during the week didn't work. So this time, the four that fished it, I didn't fish it myself because of ICAST, but the four that I had fishing it, they really done their homework to try to get this turned around and make sure we had something going. Uh, they knew it was big. They knew it's pretty well nail in the coffin if we didn't win it. So, uh, I mean, we're having fun either way. If we only do our eight and out, we're having a ball. You know, this is right. all different. But. If you can get a chance to get that ninth game and maybe move on, it'd be nice. So we're just – we're trying to put together what we can and make it work. Well, certainly. I mean, the end goal for every team is to be at Lake Chickamauga at the end of the season. I mean, that's yeah. – you know, that's why we all signed up for this. Yeah, it's for the camaraderie and the, and the fellowship and – uh, the opportunity to show off our skill and continue to do what we love. But obviously, nobody competes to lose. Um, right. Myself, I, I love to win, but I hate losing worse than I, I love winning. Yeah. Um, so, tell me, you, you know, again, you said you were, you were at ICAST. You didn't really get to fish this weekend. But but knowing you guys needed that win, knowing that you needed to defend the home turf, how was it emotionally for you uh, sitting on the sideline and just, just knowing that you couldn't be out there setting the hooks, but you had to – you had to watch your guys go out there and do battle for the Punishers. Well, I put Frankie Wolf in charge to start with. I uh, told him he was going to be this week's captain to just take it and run with it, let the boys know what they needed to be doing. Uh, he lives down there anyway. Two of the guys that fished this week live within spitting distance of Murray. Um, so Frankie pretty well helmed everything. He, I knew he was going to fish the river. I knew Scott was going to fish the river. Cause them two fish that river all the time. Uh, I figured Blaine and Terry would probably fish the lake. Uh, that didn't work out. They ended up all four of them working, moving water and it paid off. Uh, that's what killed us a few weeks back when we was against the copperheads was we had guys on moving water and it didn't work out for them. They caught like 30 fish, but only three measured. No. So, you know, yesterday it turned around a lot. The hotter water temps on the lake have driven more fish up the moving water. So uh, they had a plan. They stuck with it. Uh, he called me when I was on my way back Friday night. I got home like two in the morning. I was on my way back Friday night from my cast. He called me and said, listen, you can say I'm putting all the eggs in a basket if you want to. So it's on me if uh, we mess this up, but we're going to the river. All right. said, okay, good enough. And, uh, well, sometimes you got to have that plan. You got to stick yeah. to it. You know, I mean, there's, yeah, yeah you, you start second guessing yourself and then you start chasing all day long. And there's yeah. well, the worst thing we can do as kayak anglers. We don't have that big motor. The worst thing we right. can do as kayak anglers is start yeah. having this case. Yeah. It's too aggravating to load up and move somewhere these days. Absolutely. We got so much on these boats now. Uh, myself and Terry had partnered up for our local club here the Saturday before and had fished the Drear Island area. Terry likes fish deep points and deep rises. Uh, we fished it, and I lost a couple of good fish in the morning on top water, and Terry had a few small bites, and that was it. So he pretty well said, hey, man, my lake bite's not there. So he jumped on with Frankie and went ahead and done the moving water thing. And he's never been a moving water fisherman. We took him down to the Kingfishers, and Terry carried us down there. The creek he got in when he was a really good creek. So he's learning to be a moving water fisherman. I think he's starting to like it. So I, I told him he's going to get a motor for that Hobie next. Adap adaptation is key. Well, listen, you guys are on a bye week this week, yeah. uh, and then you get to come to the, a great state of Alabama again. You're going to be facing my old uh, my old grand team, the Alabama Hammers. Yeah. Uh, so tell me this this bye week. Uh, what do you do in preparation? What are you doing? To, what is your team going to be doing to start kind of uh, researching the waters? or making the plan for the following week. Um, it'll be week seven match against the Alabama Hammers. I've got myself, uh, Terry will be in again. Uh, Lee and Blaine will be the four. And Blaine's a new guy. We just picked Blaine up. He, he fishes with us around here a lot. Young guys in his mid-20s. 
uh, good little fisherman. He does a lot of boat stuff at night, doing night tournaments and stuff. So he's a good pickup. Uh, I, I lost a couple of guys, so I've done some changing around. And we done that. I put him on there. And we thought it was going to Wendell Williams. And that, all this fell apart about that. So John told me the other day, it's looking like we're going to be on Gunnersville. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be Gunnersville. I actually, uh, I did confirm that with the team today. Yeah. Um, you know, Wadawi is a beautiful place. Uh, yeah. Wadawi was the home lake we chose. It's a beautiful place. Unfortunately, it's not uh, it's not producing what needs to be produced for yeah. our sponsors, uh, not only our team sponsors, your team sponsors, or anybody that comes there right. on a home match, but also the KFL sponsors. And our goal, yes, is to go out and compete, but our goal certainly is to represent, you know, three bells and cross kicks and rippets, uh, rippet energy and, and just the KFL in general. So, right. Going to definitely be an exciting match against your Punishers um, coming up or on, you know, in two weeks on late, on the G. I mean, that's a destination yeah. lake. And uh, we, we certainly, as the Alabama Hammers, uh, not only myself and our team, but I'm sure KFL will be really excited about the, yeah. the opportunity to have the Gunnersville Lake yeah, on the well, show. Well, with it being Gunnersville, we got a few notes on that at least because all four of us have fished it. I've got those three studying up this week. It's my week off. I'm going up on the Susky and fish the Hobie BOS. So, uh, well, good luck to I'm you up there for sure. About, yeah, I'm gonna be worried about BOS stuff this week. So, I told absolutely pull the slack and figure out as much as we can. I reached out to one of my close friends that fishes down there a good bit and uh, asking him if the holes he's told me about before are good summer holes, too. So, you know, we'll see what we can put together. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how the lake's fishing right now, I hadn't really looked up, but. You know, we'll find it out. We'll figure out what we can and try to make the best we can out of it. And if it's punching mats, I got two of them that's good at that. If it's fishing ledges, two of them that's going with me also are good at fishing ledges. If it's fishing what I fish, great. If not, I'll be the one to adapt. So, and if, if I can run up a creek to find fish, I'm always going to run up a creek. So. Absolutely. Well, Barry, we look forward to seeing you guys here in Alabama in two weeks. Uh, I hope you guys come down here and, and catch a ton. I just hope y'all oh, catch yeah. a quarter inch less than us. That's what I tell everybody at the ramp. I told them guys yesterday when we was on our live, because I actually come in on the live, even though Sean was running it. I come right. in with the extra person on it. And I said, I'm going to tell y'all right now what I tell everybody when I shake hands at the ramp in the morning. I wish y'all the best of luck and a quarter inch less than me. So. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Barry, I, again, congratulations on you guys win two and three on the season. Uh, enjoy your bye week this week. Good luck to yourself at the Hobie. Uh, the Alabama Hammers are looking forward to welcoming you guys here here to the to Gunnersville in two weeks. And uh, yeah. uh, let's put on a hell of a show. Let's do it. Pick us out a good place to eat. We'll meet up and go eat while we're down there. Absolutely. We'll do it. And you and I will link up, uh, you know, for the match bef between now and then as well. So, uh, again, thanks for coming on and taking the time to talk yeah, to man. us today. Um, best of luck to you out there and well wishes and safety to your entire team. And uh, we'll talk at you again real soon, Barry. Thanks, man. Appreciate you having me on. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye.